Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I would like to talk about the XR2 Assault Rifle. This is the very last Assault Rifle that you're able to unlock in the Black Ops 3. Once you've hit your max level cap, this is the final one. So you would expect it to be kind of awesome, kind of a big bad boy AR. Unfortunately, it's not. It's not a bad weapon, but it has a few weaknesses and it can be somewhat troublesome to use. On the upside, it looks really cool. It's got a cool name. It's got a cool white kind of camo pattern going on to it. I think it looks neat. It just doesn't perform all that swell. First off, it's a three round burst assault rifle so that means every time you pull the trigger it bursts three rounds pretty standard we've had these in call of duty games ever since cod 4 with that good old m16 you can do it semi-auto meaning that you pull the trigger when you want it to burst fire same as we always have or, which is kind of odd on this one, if you hold down the trigger, it'll just continuously burst. Like, if you just hold down the trigger or hold down the mouse button, it'll just keep on bursting and going and going and going and going. And I guess that's easier. Maybe if you're better at timing the burst and you want it fully automatic, or if you want to absolutely max out that fire rate, it's an option. Though I do find it easier to kind of do it the old school way and kind of time my shots when I know my crosshairs are on somebody. And I've been doing it that way for years, so it's just more comfortable for with me. And obviously, it's better at long ranges than it is up close you can use it up close you can kill people up close but it's not really designed for that spray guns are going to win up close it seems like it was supposed to compete with the m8a7 kind of be like an m8 alternative unfortunately it does not this gun felt and i use feel very subjectively because i haven't done any like hard testing or anything because it's beta and alpha here on the channel but it felt better during the alpha testing when i played this game in alpha both times this was hands down the best assault rifle there were some good ones but this one just did the most work and i liked it the best now it feels weaker, and I don't know if it feels, and I use feels again subjectively weaker because it is weaker if it's been nerfed, if maybe players are smarter and the gun that I thought was good isn't so gun good, maybe it's got different or better gun competition, or I, mean, I might just be playing against harder players, but it just doesn't float my boat like it used to. You can go back and watch the really old videos like the complete weapon list and stuff if you want to, and compared to this one and just watching those it seems like it kills a little bit faster. The issue is that the burst is a little bit slow, like the, and that means how fast those three rounds come out of the end of the gun it's just not very fast it has a very mediocre kind of feeling to it whereas the m8 a1 or not m8 a7 now when you pull the trigger it just dumps out all four rounds like instantly like super fast you don't have to lead it or anything as long as your red dots on on the person when you hit the button they're going to get nailed all four times this one shoots a little bit slower so it's very likely that you can only hit two out of three shots in the burst or in many cases only one shot and the delay between the burst isn't great like it's not too bad it's probably pretty normal for like burst weapons but it's not fast I can't follow up fast it doesn't really I don't know it's just not really doing it for me and it doesn't reliably one-shot people which is what's probably the most confusing part about it a burst fire weapon should reliably one-shot kill people if you land the whole burst or if they're not moving too fast or if you're pretty pretty good with your aim pretty on target it should dump truck people that's how the m8 does it that's how the m16 always did it that's how the other guns do it I mean it pretty much anytime you have a burst weapon as long as you hit the burst we'll say like the IMR they get dump trucked this one sometimes I feel like I can shoot at somebody that's not moving very fast and my aim is either pretty good or rather on point and it takes two bursts to kill this is a this is a two burst gun and not a one for some reason and I don't know why it just kicks a little bit too much a little bit more than the M8 A7 even though it shoots slower I don't know why it would do that and I feel that this could end up like the new SWAT 556 which largely collected dust during Black Ops 2 not being a very practical weapon whereas it felt so good during the beta again I don't know if that's because it has competition now or just if it's been nerfed or something. It's not a horrible gun, definitely not. As you can see, you can clearly kill people with this weapon. It's far from horrible. You can get kills. It, it, it'll do that rare reliably, but there's just better options to use right now. And if you're playing the beta, I would tell you to not waste an unlock token on this one because... They're just better guns. You'll have more fun. Get a specialist ability. Use uh, Spectre's Blade or something that's more fun. Don't fool with this thing. Guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.